This is my daughter, Feather. Because of my influence and guidance, she was inspired to become a lawyer. This is my father, Harry. I hired him as an investigator for my law firm to keep him out of trouble. through here, right next to the power duct. You brought me all the way out here to see nothing? Don't worry, old buddy. You left it all in very capable hands. We're getting the bids. Canyon Springs is the Palm Springs of tomorrow. I've seen your commercials, Cal. I want to know what happened to the money. Well, the money's right back in the office safe, ready to go after the contractors. I want to see the money. Now. Well, I'm sure going to show it to you. We can walk over to my office, right? How will I get back to the city? Oh, don't fret yourself. Now. I can get one of my boys to take you back. Oh, uh, Ray, would you give this old filly some fresh hay? And treat her nice, you hear? Yeah, sure. Did you take a gander right on over there? Well, at least you're selling some land. Yeah, I'll tell you. Canyon Springs is something I really believe in. Where's the money? 42813. What? Well, you said you wanted to see the money. Go on, open the safe. Be my guest. 42 right. Eight left. A 13 right. I'm just real sorry, old buddy. Go, go, go! Why oh, oh, yo. A pitch. Boom. Wilkins hammered to the low ground. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 Hi, Feather. Hi, Feather. Hey, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> How was San Francisco? What happened? We missed it by one day. You mean it was worse? Hmm. You were supposed to be gone four days. You only stayed three. They could make the next disaster picture in this room. Harry, look at the kitchen. There's not one clean dish. I know. I had to buy paper plates. <gasps> mm. Oh. Carol, come on in. Hi, Mr. Denton. Is Tony here? I'm here, among the ruins. Hi, Carol. Hi, Feather. I've got to talk to you. Sure. If we had some place to sit down. All right, all right. I'm sorry about this mess. Yeah. Father was entertaining. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Get out of here. Here. Now. Whew. All right. So, what can I do for you? It's my father. He's disappeared. Do you mind? 
What happened? He went into a land deal with that Cooper man in Canyon Springs. Cal Cooper? That you all come on down, Cal Cooper? Mm-hmm, that's the one. Anyway, Cooper picked him up three days ago. They went to Canyon Springs, and I have not heard a word from him since. Maybe old Cal sold him. I have a father I'd sell cheap. Did you call the police? The local investigator said they found my father's fingerprints on the safe and that he stole the money and went away with it. Wait a minute. Your father's in a high-rise complex. His shopping malls. Why would he want to steal his own money? That's what I'd like to know. Me too. I think I'm going to go down to Canyon Springs, see what I can find out. There's only one place for us, Enzo, the El Capitan Hotel in Palm Springs, which happens to be where Cal Cooper stays. But first, let's take a look around Canyon Springs. Well, it's around here someplace. Look at that oil refinery. What you doing out here? Yeah. Maybe they put it here so that when a sheep visits his oil, he'll feel at home. Check the oil and water. Right. Got anything to eat or drink around here? Candy and soda machines over there. You said this place would be just like Palm Springs. Some Palm Springs. You've seen the commercials for Canyon Springs, haven't you, Enzo? A lush oasis bathed in sun and serenity. Enjoy your lunch. Hey, uh, get down a quart. Okay, go ahead. Say, uh, do you own this place? Yeah. You go buy some land here? Well, I wanted to talk to Mr. Cooper. He'll get you, too, huh? Get me, too? What do you mean? That man can charm a rattlesnake. Well, I always admire a good salesman. Sure, if there's something to sell. <laughs> Look at this place. I can't even get it finished. They said it was going to be a gold mine. <laughs> I even paid extra to be the only gas station in Canyon Springs. Looks like you're the only anything. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Not much business, huh? I own Cal Cooper's personal service station. Oh, well, look at this. His was the only car I serviced this month. Wait a minute. Got two mileage readings here. Oh, I must have read the odometer wrong when he pulled in. Look, don't listen to a word he says. You sure you made a mistake? This doesn't make it's only 12 miles. Look, are you going to see Cooper? Not today. Oh, would you like to rent one of my cabins? Uh, no, thanks. Some other time. Hey, you sure this is the sheriff's office? Well, that's what it says outside. Boy, they sure don't get much action around here. Well, Enzo, what could happen out here? Somebody pulls in a coyote for disturbing the peace. Somebody mugs a cactus. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All Hi. Right. All right. If you're here to see the sheriff, you're out of luck. He's probably out plowing his back 40. <laughs> Actually, I was just out watering my date trees. Oh. Hey, Sheriff, it was, it was just a joke. Yeah. It's no joke. Yeah. Haven't had rain for two months. Them dates get pretty parched. Mm. Okay, what you selling? Well, actually, I'm not selling anything. I'm a private investigator. Well, now, just what are you investigating? The disappearance of Josh Adams. <laughs> well, Josh Adams didn't disappear. He just run off. Mm. You investigated. Yet. I am the sheriff. Just like on the TV. Took the fingerprints off the safe, sent them back to Washington, D.C. Josh Adams' prints, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you know how he got out here that day, Sheriff? Yeah. Flew into Palm Springs and Cal Cooper picked him up. All right. Now, how did he get away? Well, I don't know. But I suppose when a fellow runs off with that much money, he'll find a way. Run, TV. I get the impression he's not a man overly familiar with the truth. What did he lie about? He told everybody Josh Adams was here. And Cooper's car was being serviced. My gas station guy, he wouldn't lie. Made a mistake, he said. You mean the odometer? 
He changed the numbers. He didn't lie. He showed it to you. That's right. He showed us two readings. With a difference of 12 miles? Big deal. 12 miles. And so that's it, 12 miles. Cal Cooper could have used the car that night. Driven six miles out, six miles back, and planted Josh Adams six feet under. Well, all the results aren't in yet. Oh, Harry! Margo, I'm gonna need some stuff. Where are you? What's going on? I'll be staying at the El Capitan Hotel in Palm Springs. Now, this is what I need, Margo. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Lou, write this down. Yeah, go ahead, Harry. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to be wearing first, but you better bring out that Western outfit with a 10-gallon hat. And it's hot out here, so bring the safari out for Terenzo. Now, I'm going to need a lot of Army uniforms. Some officer uniforms, some enlisted uniforms. Just a couple of the officers. And a lot of enlisted men's fatigues, right? Wait a minute. Ho hold it, Harry. How are we supposed to get all that stuff down there? I don't care how you get it down here, Margo. Well, get a trunk or something. Oh, okay, Lou, one trunk, okay? All right, anything else you need? Yeah, you and Lou. And bring Schumacher. Come on, Lou, we gotta go. Okay. Shadow, come on over here and finish him up. Come on, Bill. Sounds like a costume party. No, I don't know nothing. I just got here. Hello, Army Land Acquisition Office. Yes, sir. Yes, I talked to a, uh, an officer in your department. I can't recall his name. I wonder if you'd help me out. What was it about? Some parcels in Southern California. Mm. Well, that could be Colonel Porter or White. It couldn't be Chasen because he's in Florida with General Prescott. Chasen's been in Florida. Uh, Chasen, I think it was Chasen. Yes, I must have talked to him before he left. Thank you very much. Hi, Harry, we're here. Hi, Lou. Hey, Hi. here they are. Hi, Harry. Hi, Hi Lou. Margo, Lou, did you get everything? Everything. Oh, yeah, I mean, what do you see? Oh, look at that. Uh, Harry. Harry. Huh? Harry. Oh. Lou. Oh. Uh. Enzo. Oh, Margo. Well, partner. I reckon I'll just mosey along. Yeah. Well, you made a right good choice, Mr. Jessup. Hiram. Hiram. That's a right good country name. Makes uh, me feel right to home. And uh, you call me Cal now, you hear? Cal? I'm going to do that, Cal. Yeah. That's going to be a nice, comfortable spread. I reckon that's going to work out real fine. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them papers all drawn up and ready for you this afternoon. Good. I'm staying at the El Capitan Hotel. Oh, nice hotel, that is. Yeah, well, as soon as them papers are ready, you get me there, huh? Yeah. Call me at, uh... Oh, look at that. Yeah, let me get them. Wait a minute. No, I'll get it. Oh, yeah, we could organize them things. Here. I'm staying in room 36. Room 36. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I can't wait to get back to Lubbock. Tell all the folks about Canyon Springs. You do that. <laughs> Hi, old buddy. Hey, how are you? Hey. I'll call you later, Hiram. Hey, it's looking pretty good, Cal. Yeah, that new commercial is working. Hey, you must drop this. Oh, you give me that. I'll give it to him later when I go. Wait a minute. He didn't say nothing about being in the military. Johnny? Check him out. I think Cal's gonna want to talk to you. 
You want to, uh, get into something a little more comfortable? Oh, buddy. Just funny and... Come on, Colonel. You from Texas like I'm from Vermont. What's going on here? Well, it's, uh, it's a personal matter. I'd like to keep it quiet. I want to know why an army colonel's down here buying land under an assumed name. army provost marshal's office to find out. Well, all right, if you're going to go that far. Mr. Cooper, I'm about to retire from the army. Canyon Springs represented a nice, quiet place for me to settle down with my niece. Colonel, what about Hiram Jessup, Lubbock, Texas? Well, it's a delicate matter, Mr. Cooper. I'm a married man. When my army hitches over, just like to fade away. Kind of disappear, you understand? Well, uh, I guess I do. Ma'am. All right, what's going on? Sweetheart, I think Cal Cooper did use his car the night that Carol's father was here. He used it to stash Josh Adams' body. How can you prove that? Simple. We get him to dig it up. If he thinks the army is going to come here and dig, and possibly find the body, he's going to have to move it. Yeah, maybe. Harry, you could get into an awful lot of trouble impersonating an officer. Sweetheart, don't worry. What are they going to do, court-martial me? Okay, okay, but Cooper's already caught you in one line. This Texan you're supposed to be. Yeah, and he's about to catch me in another. Why don't you just tell him what you want him to believe? He'll believe it more if he finds it out for himself. Which he's about to do right now. Come on. Okay, Mrs. Barm, if you just sign right here. I'm so excited. Now, when do you think I might start to build? You can start to build anytime you want. As soon as the bank clears the mortgage, you're all set. Oh, thank you so much. Be with you in a minute, sir. I was thinking I might have a little white picket fence and roses. Beautiful. Hi. Say, I saw your commercial. I always wanted land. I've been living in an apartment all my life. Land. Land. Now, now there's an investment. Well, if you want to follow me right over here to the map, I'll show you what we got left. Mr. Winkler. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Winkler. I'll show you what we got left. This is gone. Or this... Excuse me, sir. Who is it? I don't know. I just sold B-42 and B-43 to a lady. Oh. I want to buy some land. Oh, nice big spread, do you? Yeah. Why don't you just take a chair over there? We'll be right with you. Yeah, thank you. They was all together in the bar. From what I saw, they know the curve. Something's wrong. What? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Thank you. Well, Mr. Cooper, it's very nice of you to invite us up here. We can certainly use this refreshment. Yes, and I, Colonel Chisholm, could use a few straight answers. Oh. You see, sir, I called the Pentagon. You were with the Army Land Acquisition Office. Well, yes, that's, that's right. Your occupation is acquiring land for the United States Army, sir. But you are buying it for yourself. 
Well, Mr. Cooper, I've already told you. It's a little hideaway for my niece and me here. Oh, come on, Colonel. On those lots you bought, you could hide away a regiment. And all those friends of yours buying up all that land out there like this sand shortage. I think he knows. You're damn right I know. Now, you're going to tell me right now what the Army is planning to build out there. A personnel depot? A missile base? A training camp? What? Fuel storage. Underground tanks. Piped right in from the refinery. Sweet. Real sweet. Look, Mr. Cooper, I can tell you what that top dollar is. We both could take advantage. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. How is it, Colonel, that a, that a Colonel, a mere Colonel, can acquire all that land? Hmm? Isn't that kind of like a, a yearling leading the herd? Well, you see, General Prescott will be along shortly. It's just a rubber stamp situation, Mr. Cooper. If it's okay with me, it's okay with the General. Uh, I, I think we better go, honey. What? Huh? I've got a terrible headache. Oh, sweetheart. <sighs> okay, but we'll talk later, right? And I uh, will be meeting your General Prescott, right? Of course, Mr. Cooper. Of course. <sighs> Harry, a general? It's all right, honey. Think of somebody. Look, if Cooper thinks the Army's coming in here digging for storage tanks, he's going to do something. That's what I'm afraid of. No, honey. He'll try to move the body. Harry, he could do that at any time. Ah, it's impossible. We're watching every move he makes. No, Carol, it's a good thing we didn't sell all that land. Now we got the army for a customer. Yeah, we may just want to be buying back what we already sold. Right back. As much as we can get, no matter what we have to do to get it. Yeah, I I'm calling you from Canyon Springs. It's in California. Uh, howdy, I'm Cal Cooper. Yeah, I'd like to talk to someone about the Army Land Acquisition Project here in Canyon Springs. One minute, please. Someone on the phone wants to know about the Army buying land in Canyon Springs. Where's Canyon Springs? I'm only a sergeant. Captain Ridgewood here. I'm trying to get some information about the deal going through here with Colonel Chase and General Prescott. Yes, sir. Uh, Colonel Chase and General Prescott. Uh, that would be... Uh, uh, that'd be Canyon Springs. Right, sir. Canyon Springs. Uh, Colonel Chase and... Uh, one moment, I'll have to look that up. At this stage of the development, it would be against Army policy to give out any information on that project. Oh, I understand, Captain. A and I thank you, sir. Profusely. It's official. Terrific. I never heard of any Canyon Springs. Well, Colonel Chasen and General Prescott have heard of it. Both of them on this project, and I'm the left. There's no flag. There's no flag! That's something really fouled up. Get on the horn. I want a recon team out to Canyon Springs on the double. Honey, are you sure you want to put everybody on guard against Cooper? Cooper's not going to let any of that sand slip through his fingers. He's going to sell as much as he can to the Army. Yeah, then he'll try to buy back as much as he can before the Army gets here. Right. All those people that got stung will sell that land back to Cooper at any price just to get rid of it. All I want to do is warn them, tell them to hold out, give Cooper a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, but sweetheart, look, look, sweetheart, we came down here in the first place because we think Cooper killed a man, remember? I'll be careful, Harry, but you be careful, too. You're messing around with the United States Army. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's just pretend. Oh, come on. We're pretending the army's coming to Canyon Spring. Hmm. Mr. Hodges? Hi there. Hi. My name is Tony 
Dan. Yes. I'd like to have a word with you about your property. <laughs> I, uh, I think Carol's going to want to speak to you. Let's go. Chopper, that was U.S. Army. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. What's wrong? It's her. She's snuffing our deals. Every place I've been, it's no sale unless they make a hefty profit. Now, somebody's telling them about the Army. Now, why would you want to do that? Could we talk alone? Why, of course. Johnny? I'd be real happy if you didn't tell the Colonel what I've been up to. Why shouldn't I? What you've been doing out there is hurting the Colonel. You know all that land out there, everything you don't know. I do. I beg your pardon? Well, you see, the Colonel couldn't risk putting all that land in his name, so he put it in mine. You mean all the land he bought? <laughs> well, I'll be horn sweat. <laughs> but what you did out there, I don't like that. Well, all I did was try to buy up all the land I could to sell back to the army. But I'm not very good at these things. No, you ain't. Maybe we could work together. I bet we could. Well, we need a jeep, a couple of guys in army fatigues with picks and shovels, and a pneumatic hole borer. Got it. And Enzo, keep the cost down, will you? This is just icing on the cake. We don't want to go over budget. Well, what is our budget? Zero. Ooh, that figures. Hi. Oh, hi. Harry. Harry, I just got caught and in taking And taken it to Cooper's Cooper. office. I know, sweetheart. On, on top of it all, we got him covered like a tent. What did he want? Well, I think he wanted to kill me. What happened? I had to tell him that the land you bought is in my name. Did he buy that? Well, I think so. I'm still alive. I had to make him my partner. Partner, huh? Hmm. Cal! Cal, Chasen here. Just wanted to tell you that General Prescott just arrived. He'd like to meet you. Well, just to rubber stamp that little deal of ours. Yeah. Six? Well, I'd be fine. Yeah, I'd be glad to tell Feather to come along. Looks like old Cal's taking a hankering to you. Terrific. General Prescott? Of course. What do you think, Feather? One star or two. You know, that's going to make the boys in the Pentagon really sit up. It's perfect, sir. Just perfect. What's this? Oh, that's just my little old officer and uh, the gas station. Good, good. That's where we'll set up. In fact, we'll start right from there. You know, we're going to have to do a lot of testing, geological stuff. Oh, uh, you're going to dig? First thing in the morning. We're going to dig here. Then there. Then here. We're going to work in a 10-mile radius. 10-mile radius? Gentlemen. Ma'am. To tomorrow. I don't know. He was so smooth. Silky smooth. Didn't even blink an eye. Could be the man is innocent. Uh-uh. Anyone innocently flashing such an innocent smile. Can't be all innocent. 
Could you interpret that for me? Sure, the man's a good actor, that's all. But he's got to make his move. And when he does, we'll be ready for him. I just wore out my girdle. All right, I'll stay here. You come to battle. You take the first shift. I'll catch up the blowings. Okay, Harry. And you, Walker. Keep a sharp eye. Harry? What do I look like, a trainee? Good, huh? Nah. It's no use, Harry. With all this action out here, Cooper ain't gonna move nobody. Let's go talk to him. Boy, when you fellas say you're gonna dig up the place, you really dig it up. You have a lot of ground to cover, Mr. Cooper. Yeah. Well, uh, when do you think we can get around to sign the contract? We'll have it tonight. That'll be just fine. Fine. He's cool, Harry. Too cool. Okay, Schumacher. Take another tack. We'll hit the gas station, fella. What I'll do is I'll get the cowboy suit and the cowboy hat. No, 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 no. The Texan bought the land as a cover for Chasen. For Chasen? The Colonel. What? The Colonel? Sure. <laughs> Here I am in uniform. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> the uniform was for Cooper. The uniform with Cooper? But, so who was I with the gas station guy? Harry. You're just plain old Harry Denton. No, sure. Are you sure? Just plain Harry Dent. I tell you, Schumacher, sometimes... These scams get a little complicated. I, I tend to lose track. Come on, Ray, there must be something. You said Cooper always stayed in one of your cabins when his car was being serviced. Was he there the night Adams was out here? Yeah. Was he alone? Yeah. Are you sure? That night, the population of Canyon Springs was two. Me and Cal Cooper. Could he have used your car? No. No, I was cleaning my battery cable. Anyway, I'm glad he did. Dead man is murder on guard. What do you mean? Well, look at his air filter. Gray dust? It's from the old gravel works. Everybody that drives past up there gets a touch of it, but not like this. Hmm. This could mean that Cooper was right in the midst of that gray gravel. Yeah. The gravel works. Where are they? It's out 402, about uh, six miles. Six miles? What are we looking for? Any place here that you can hide a body. Like a hole in the ground? Yes, Schumacher, like a hole in the ground. Like that hole in the ground. Bingo. Like that hole in the ground. Good morning, General. Sergeant, anything happened while I was gone? Just Canyon Springs, sir. But Captain Richwood is right on it. Oh, he is, is he? Hey, that's my 
to go driving that thing. Margo! Hey, Margo! Hey, Margo! Margo! We have to talk to you! Hey, Margo! Hey, Margo! Margo, Margo, what are you doing? Lou is following Cooper, and Enzo couldn't reach the pedal. Why don't you get one of the other guys? What guys? We didn't get anybody. What do you mean, the chiefs? The teams of soldiers surveying. There were but... no guys who wanted to do this kind of work. Olive drab is not my best color. And you said they didn't look like real soldiers. It must be the new army. The new army. But it is the army. They're here. The real army is here. Time just ran out of it. Let's go. You are a spunky little filly. Well, a girl has to look out for herself these days, doesn't she? I reckon she does. The actual fact is, though, I'm getting a little skittery. All you have to do is sell what land you still own to the army. And you? Well... The Colonel did put all that land in my name. All I have to do is sell it. And bye-bye, Colonel. Seems to me that might rile him up some. What's he gonna do? Go to the authorities and tell them he's been double-crossing the army? He'd get drummed out. Lose his pension. I sure hope you can handle him. I can handle him. He did it. Somehow he moved that body. We were watching all night. Harry, I think it's time we threw in the towel. I second the motion. I don't like playing army when the real army is running all over the place. We've got one more chance, gang. Harry, give up. At ease, troops. Cooper and I are getting very close. <laughs> <laughs> he almost trusts me. <laughs> you saved the day, sweetheart. I knew you'd do it. It's in the genes. Breeding always tells. Cal managed to give us a slip. Somehow, he moved that body. But you're going to make it possible for us to have another shot at him. If we can only find a hook. Margo, what else did you bring down in the trunk? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The trunk. The trunk. Fellas, get the trunk. Schumacher, your timing's going to have to be perfect. Sweetheart, this has got to be the acting performance of your life. What's wrong? We have a problem. This thing's just been fired. Uh-huh. Did he try to shoot you? Yes. You shouldn't mess around with him. You and me, uh, I guess maybe we ought to just forget the whole thing, huh? We can't. He's dead. tried to shoot you. Just self-defense, right? That's all we need. We? An investigation. Linking me with the Colonel. And all that land in my name. What are you gonna do? We. We, remember? Get rid of the body. And then once the body is gone, you can sell your land, and I can sell mine. Cal, you just bought back all that land. Do you want to have to go back on television and sell it all over again? Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. 
I'd like to talk to you about these property lines. Yes, General. Uh, what could I... Uh... Well, I want to get this thing settled, so let's get chasing. Oh, chasing is necessary. Uh, I have copies of the deeds down in my suite, sir. Are you sure you're going to be all right in there? Houdini could hold his breath for five minutes. Yeah, Houdini also died. Honey, don't worry. There'll be plenty of air in here. Six, would you? I got a trunk to take down. Oh, where are you going to take it? Well, with the army crawling all over the place, we can't very well bury it in the desert now, can we? Well, then where will you put it? Don't you worry a little head now about the colonel. Well, I'm going to bury that slick operator. He's going to feel right to home. I think I just got worried. May I help you, sir? I want a room. You're a corporal. Do something. Hmm. Two General Prescotts. General, sir? We've been expecting you. Who are you? Uh, corporal Felcher, sir. Uh, if you'd like to step outside, we'd like to take you on a tour. Oh, sure. I've just spent five hours in a C-50 wedged in with a load of mortars. I'm not... What did you say? Two General Prescotts. What are you talking about? One General Prescott is already registered at this hotel. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this right now. Walter? Sir? Where is this other General Prescott? <laughs> Outside. I want to get something for my headache. Well, sure. Uh, I think the general is up in his room. I really, uh... Oh, you could ask this young lady. She's the general's friend. Miss? I beg your pardon. I want a word with you. Voucher, get me on please. I'm oh, no devil! All right, young lady. I've got a lot of explaining to do. Put that in the trunk of my caddy and uh, secure it down somehow, would you? What do we do now? We take our cue from Feather. Until then, we don't make a move. I'm too scared to move. You're not expecting to believe all that. General, right now, my father is out there being buried. Me she shot you. She missed. What is this? It's what Zone and the Traders have set up. Well, I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. Dead. Hold it down there. Josh Adams' body somewhere around here. Oh. Boy, we almost didn't make it in time. How did you know he was going to take me out of here? Well, when Cooper said he was a slick operator, I figured he'd be right at home in an oil refinery. Oh, I'm glad I got a daughter who can figure out something complicated like that. Harry, living with you is living with complication. Oh, sweetheart. You know, Dini must have been crazy. What a way to make a living. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Wait a minute. 
I always thought I was taller than that. Harry! Well, have a nice trip, General. I don't know what to do about you, Danton. Impersonating an army officer. Oh, he did solve a murder, sir. Yeah, I guess so. And you did say that Canyon Springs would make a terrific fuel storage depot. Not exactly my words, but close enough. Surely, General, there must be some technicality that... Mr. Danton, were you ever in the Army? In the Navy, sir. Seaman, first class. Many times. Each time he'd get busted, he'd work his way back up again. Figures. I'll take that. Well, you're a lucky man, Danton. The technicality? You were not actually in an official Army uniform. According to these, you were a hero at the Battle of the Alamo. And a Purple Heart, you got that at the Boer War. Thank you.